Reaction is pouring in today after the Utah Department of Transportation announced it will move forward with a controversial plan to build a gondola in Little Cottonwood Canyon. That's where new specialist Lad Egan is standing by with more on the several phases to this plan. Lad? Today's announcement marks the end of the environmental impact statement, and it means that UDOT can immediately start on the first of three phases, and this first phase is the only one that has funding secured. We can start solving the short-term problems. Phase one includes improving and increasing bus service with new resort bus stops and a mobility hub. This phase will also include tolling and will be implemented in the fall of 2025. Phase two will widen Wasatch Boulevard, improve trailhead parking, and build snow sheds to address avalanche safety. Finally, phase three would be to build the gondola up the canyon and construct a base station with 2,500 parking spaces. The gondola could still be two decades away by some estimates. UDOT says the decision came after a thorough review and that it will improve transportation in the canyon. And we do recognize that the gondola towers do represent a great or a large visual impact in the canyon. But it's also important to note that because it has a smaller construction footprint, it has lower water quality impacts, it doesn't add a wildlife barrier. Those against it say the phased approach means the gondola isn't inevitable and they hope they can still stop it. There are common sense solutions um, and I, I support those rather than uh, an overbuilt object that will mar the canyon. Everyone has the opportunity to sort of change their behavior. It's going to be uncomfortable, but let's do that. Let's do it because we don't want to forever ruin Little Cottonwood Canyon with the gondola. So there's for sure some glim glimmers of hope. In the last three years, UDOT's Little Cottonwood Canyon project received about 50,000 public comments. That's the most in the department's history. The gondola would span roughly eight miles and would be the longest in the world. Having these 30 plus towers scarring the canyon is something that we absolutely can't allow to happen. Again, money is only secured for the first phase. Funding options that UDOT could explore for the second and third phase include the state legislature, the federal government, and a public-private partnership. Reporting at the mouth of Little Cottonwood Canyon, Lad Egan, KSL 5 News.